Hi mechanic students, in this video I just want to go over the logistics and the timeline for exam number two. So exam number two this semester will be a take-home exam, mainly because we have the whole coronavirus pandemic going on, so uh, that is why it's uh, going to be a take-home instead of in-class. Um, my hope though is that you'll treat it like an in-class exam and you'll uh, adhere to the, sort of the same standards that I expect from you in the classroom. Uh, for the exam, you can have your pencils, pens, markers, a straight edge compass, calculator. And I recommend you create your cheat sheet, one eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper with original notes on both sides. And I would encourage you to do the exam with just these items. Uh, but it'll be up to your own academic integrity whether or not you uh, follow these guidelines. For the exam, I'll be posting it to Blackboard next Wednesday at 5 p.m. and it'll be due back, submitted through Blackboard by Friday at 11.59 p.m. The topics on the exam cover everything since exam two, so we looked at stress transformation and the different equations. I remember the main purpose for doing stress transformation was to determine the maximum normal and shear stresses that occur at a point so that we can predict if failure will occur. We came up from equilibrium with these stress transformation equations, and I have them listed here for sigma x prime, sigma y prime, and tau x prime, y prime. From there, we took derivatives to find uh, the angle to the principal plane and also the principal stresses sigma 1 and 2. And then we also found the angle to the in-plane shear stress and tau max in-plane. Finally, we talked about the absolute maximum shear stress. Then we went on to do more circles, so you can read the directions here. This is what we covered in class. And then we talked about strain transformation and came up with associated equations. We talked about strain gauges and how to do some calculations based on measurements from those strain gauges. After that, we went on to failure theories. So this was a big thing. Uh, we covered Tresca and von Mises criterion. And then we went on to look at shear and moment diagrams. We looked at four different ways for solving for axial force shear and moment uh, along a member. So go ahead and take a look back in the notes. And then we covered bending stresses. So for exam two, uh, we'll have three problems. And that'll total 80 points amongst those three problems. They won't be equally weighted. Uh, the first problem will cover some sort of uh, more circle, usually. Um, so it'll pretty much be like here's the state of stress at a point. I want you to plot more circle. And then after you plot more circle, I want you to use the results to check either Tresca or von Mises failure criterion uh, to determine whether or not you think failure will occur in our particular design. The second problem will be regarding strain transformation somehow. Uh, sometimes this is you know, just as straightforward as using the strain transformation equations. Other times I give you strain gauges and you have to use the result from the strain gauges to then calculate the uh, in-plane strains and then you can calculate principal strains, etc. Finally, we'll have one problem on bending stresses and that will you involve uh, solving for a shear moment diagram on a particular member and then use the equation sigma equals my over i to calculate the bending stress at a point. Lastly, we'll have some short answer questions or some sort of multiple choice, true, false, I don't know. I'm going to surprise you. Uh, this will total 20 points. Um, and uh, the best way to prepare for those is just to kind of read through the notes and watch some of the videos and uh, just kind of pay attention and see uh, just kind of some of the key 
points and you can check some of our learning objectives from class as to what I might ask you to define or uh, what I might be asking you to differentiate between. Uh, to prepare for the exam, I would go ahead and take a look at lessons 10 through 17 and you can check out our notes from those lessons. I'd also go over homework 5 through 9. You can also take a look on Blackboard. I posted some extra uh, review materials. So we have this exam to review, and I have what's called an exam to supplement. I posted it in the practice exams area as well as uh, under lesson 17. So you should be able to find the supplement. It has three extra problems for you to work out, and you can also find the associated uh, solutions. And then, of course, you can look at the previous exams. All of my previous exams are posted for your availability on Blackboard. So you can go ahead and try those out just so you know what type of problems I've asked in the past. And, uh, of course, we'll have some sort of exam to review activity. Uh, typically, this is Jeopardy, and I'm going to revamp it into a Kahoot that you'll be able to play uh, in this semester.